All right, Shalom. I'm giving all praises, all glory, all honors unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kakadash. Double honors once again to the apostles, elders, bishops, great millstone. Shalom to the 144,000 and the rest of the hopeful elect. It's another edition of GMS News and Prophecy. And uh, things are continuing to heat up in the earth. Different signs and effects are happening all over the world, whether it's in the U.S., whether it's in Asia, Europe, all right? A different number of events are happening that are telltale signs of the end of this world, all right, the society. So first up, we have these uh, eruptions here from Indonesia, which says, uh, Indonesia evacuating thousands after a volcano erupts causes tsunami threat, right? And I did a video not too long ago about um, the, um, the, uh, the volcano that spewed out was uh, Mount Etna was spewing out plumes of smoke during the time of the eclipse, yeah, lava flows. So now you have this volcano in Indonesia erupted. It says Indonesian rescuers raced to evacuate thousands of people Thursday after a volcano erupted five times, forcing authorities to close a nearby airport and issue a warning about falling debris that could cause a tsunami. And I've never heard that before, erupting five times, you know, <clears throat> maybe two or three times, but, you know, it's it's a lot of record-breaking, a lot of uh, 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 heavy, heavy, um, heavy sights, right? Fearful sights happening in these times, and that's what the, the prophecies say. Fearful sights, signs from heavens, Okay. It says the crater of Mount Ruang or Ruang flamed with lava against the backdrop of lightning bolts overnight after erupting four times on Wednesday, forcing authorities to raise its alert level to the highest of a four tiered system. The volcano on a remote island in Indonesia's outermost region was still billowing a column of smoke on Thursday morning, prompting authorities to shut the nearest international airport in Manado City on Sulawesi Island for 24 hours. Uh, houses on the neighboring remote island of Tugalandang were riddled with holes from falling volcanic rocks, and residents were preparing to leave at least temporarily. Okay. So the authorities said they were rushing to evacuate more than 11,000 residents from the area, uh, home to around 20,000 people. So thousands of people had to be evacuated. Down here it says uh, prison in uh, prison inmates. Uh, 19 residents had to go by boat, and then there was a tsunami warning. Okay. So that was heavy. Okay, in Indonesia. Let's go to the next one. All right, now this is ABC News. A strong earthquake in Japan leaves nine people with minor injuries on another earthquake. Okay. Japan authorities say that a strong earthquake that struck in the country's Southwest Japan has left nine people with minor injuries. Earthquakes in diverse places, pillars of smoke, volcanic corruptions, the sea and the waves roaring, you know, tsunami warning. All right. Uh, there was a major storm over there in uh, Dubai recently. All these things are signs of the end of this world, man. So it says a strong earthquake that struck southwestern Japan left nine people with minor injuries and caused damage such as burst water pipes and small landslides, authorities said Thursday, but there was no danger of a tsunami. Not there, but Indonesia there was. 
The magnitude 6.6 Timbler late Wednesday was centered just off the western coast of the southwestern main island of Shikoku in an area called the Bongo Channel, a strait separating Shikoku and the southern main island of Kyushu. All right, and it says they're all and as part of the Pacific Ring of Fire. Even Indonesia is a part of the Pacific Ring of Fire. Okay? It says on January 1st, a magnitude 7.6 quake struck the north central region of Noto and left 241 people dead. So you had a major earthquake in Japan. All right? Well, not as major as the one in January, but an earthquake nonetheless. Okay. Um, let's get this one here. From USA Today, NYPD arrest over 100 at pro-Palestinian protests at Columbia University. All right. And then you had the protests that's going on. Um There were 20,000 people were uh, protesting. Uh, I forget where exactly. I just did the video. But there's a number of, of different um, anti-government protests that are happening around the world. It says police arrested more than 100 protesters in Columbia University's campus Thursday after they set up encampments to protest Israel's war in Gaza. Police officers forcibly moved students out of tents in the center of Columbia's campus in Manhattan. According to eyewitness accounts, University President um, Manu Shafiq told police the encampment began early Wednesday morning with more than 100 people occupying the south lawn of the campus. New York City Mayor Eric Adams confirmed the NYPD made more than 108 arrests. So you got people that are at a very discontent stage with how the government and different governments around the world are, are, are handling things. Okay? Um, so let's just go to the scriptures. All right. So I believe, let me get this in Luke 21st chapter. So this is Luke chapter 21 and 25. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth the distress of nations. This is why we're seeing different protests. Okay. Uh, with perplexity. The sea and the waves roaring, all right? Major storms, tsunamis. Uh, now you got these tsunami warnings after these quakes. It says, men's hearts fell in them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken, all right? And the next one I want to get, you know what, let me do this. Let me go to Acts, the second chapter. Okay, this is Acts chapter 2. And 19. Because even the Apostle Peter prophesied of the things that are happening. All right. Which is really coming to pass uh, in these days. It says, and I will show wonders in heaven above. You had the, the major eclipses and signs in the earth beneath. Blood and fire and vapor of smoke, earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, right? I just read the scripture about the distress of nations, which are the protests, riots. It says, the sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before that great and notable day of the Lord come. And that's how close we are. Verse 21, and it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Right? Verse 22. Ye men of Israel. So he's talking to the Israelites. Hear these words. Yahweh of Nazareth, a man approved of the Most High among you, 
by miracles and wonders and signs, Yahweh Shah himself was a sign, which the Most High did by him in the midst of you, as ye yourselves also know. So we are in the time of Yahweh Shah returning soon because all these signs are happening in the earth today. All right. So I just want to bring that news out, filter it through the scriptures, giving all praises, glory, and honor back to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakodash, Shalom.